Hey yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou. You guys are just in time for another video. In this video, what I'm planning on doing, like I said in my previous video, this is my eight week cut. You know, so that's basically two months. If you think about it, that helps you save a lot of money if you learn how to cut your own hair, or even if you just know how to cut your hair and need to go to the barber to get a, a, a edge up or a trim. But I'm gonna show you guys how I'm cutting my hair for the first time for 720s. Y'all stay tuned. All right, so before you cut your hair, one thing you always wanna do is make sure you wash your hair the night before and don't put any products in. You know, the reason why is whenever you're using your clippers or if you go to the shop, you don't want all that product to build up in the clippers and the barber ends up plugging your head and you think it's the barber's fault, but it's really your fault, you know? So what I typically do is I, I do a clarifying shampoo to strip my hair of all the products and everything like that. I rinse it out and I just brush my hair and style it the way I need to, put a do-rag on and go from there. I probably Make a method video a little bit later but that's one thing to keep in mind always wash your hair some of the things that i'll be using today is a wide tooth comb as i always say i'll be using my andy's masters clippers to cut uh i'm gonna start with a 2.5 with the grain if that's not low enough then uh, i'll go with a two but when you first start training your hair from a scalp you know what you want to do is be able to train your hair at lower lengths and go higher and higher and higher. You know, so I'm gonna cut back down. Next thing I'll be using, like I said, I have the Andes number two guard right here. Then I have the Andes number one guard right here. I'm gonna open up the clippers so that these will be a 1.5, hit my edges and everything like that. I prefer the double magnets because they stay on the blade, but you can use whatever you want. The next thing I'm gonna use is this thing right here, cover, cover myself up. I'm also gonna use some cool care. You know, so when you first start off, you want to put the cool hair on the blades, you know, make sure they get nice and lubricated so they cut your hair and everything. But then it also helps the blades from getting hot. The brush I'll be using to brush my hair is the Torino Pro 0656. This is the white medium. I call it the white walker because this bad boy does some damage. You know what I'm saying? But so y'all stay tuned. I'm going to get myself ready and get this cut going. Man, I can't lie though. Your boy is very excited. From going from a scalp all the way to eight weeks to the progress that I have now, let me show you guys before I cut it's been crazy for me just to see the progress you know because I wanted to get a swirl started off trying to get 360s with a swirl once I started my back start slanting I was like man I gotta I gotta go full out so I'm excited to see how this cut turned out so when I put the guard on uh the two as you can see uh, what I'm gonna do is just make sure that the lever is all the way back, which means open. That means it'll make it a 2.5. Before I cut, what I always do is try to make sure I comb out my pattern. You know, so what I do, what I like to do is comb in the flow of my pattern, which means in the direction that I'm brushing my hair. You know, so comb that way just to make sure that my hair lifts up. All right, once you're done with that, you get to cutting. Now this is the first time I ever cut my hair in uh, with 720s as a pattern. So hopefully I don't mess up, but hey, let's get into it. When I cut my hair, I start off in my crown area, which is the little area where it swirls at.
Once I finished cutting my hair, what I did was, I'm not all the way done, but for the most part I am. I didn't dust myself off or anything like that. I just used my Andy Slimline Pro Li uh, clippers and I just basically did a freehand trim. One thing I noticed cutting this pattern, I had a lot more loose, uh, just little pieces of hair that's sticking up. So I had to go over with uh, my my, trip, my my clippers. But yeah, so. I'm gonna get into explaining how my cut went. So y'all stay tuned. So I went 2.5 all the way around. I noticed that whenever I was cutting, I didn't want to cut too, too, too low, but I'm gonna show y'all just how the cut looks. So let me know what y'all think. As you can see, the crown is really sticking out now. Like I said, my left side, it's gonna be my weak side that I'm gonna have to really work on. But yeah, one thing I wanted to point out was that this time around when I cut my hair, usually when I cut my edges, what I did this time was because on this side of my hair, I'm brushing down, it was a lot easier for me just to cut down with the clippers, you know? So I just took the guard, just cut down like that, you know? One thing I noticed off top is that my sides came out just almost as even as the rest of my hair. On the left side, what I had to do was different just because the way I'm brushing my hair, it's kind of slanted up like that, you know? So for the left side, what I had to do was come here and then just cut my edges downwards in the way that they grow. So that therefore they stay just as even as the rest of my head. But yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go over just a little bit more just to get a little bit more even. Like I said, I haven't finished cutting all the way. Just wanted to show you guys an update. But yeah, this is a 2.5 with the grain. The biggest thing I was focused on, on this time around was getting my crown right. You know, as you all can see, it's pretty solid. Still got a lot of work to put in, but for only eight weeks, man, I'm excited for the progress that I made. You know, like at the end of the day, a lot of people probably couldn't get the progress that I got, but I have videos coming on the way to show you guys how I brush my hair to get a swirl. And there's two types of swirl crowns. The first type is 360s or a 360 swirl or 540s. They're kind of the same. You brush your angles the same exact way. The second type of swirl crown is called 720s. That's the way I'm brushing my hair. It's a lot more more as you can see it spins a lot more around your crown area but I'm gonna show you guys how I brush my hair to be able to get a swirl like this as well as how I brush the rest of my head but y'all stay tuned I appreciate y'all watching this video I'm gonna try to keep this one short just because this was a uh, me the, the first time me cutting my hair and everything like that 720s just to learn test some new methods and everything like that but it's your boy J Lou salute